have Malcolm Teasdale, Leonard David Stowe, and they're going to tell us exactly what game is, um, all about tonight's event, and all about the art that's here. So, Malcolm, welcome to the show. Thank welcome. you. Again, you know you're like a regular. You're trying to take my job happened? is what, what you're trying happened? to do. What happened? I don't know. Oh, wow, from, <laughs> from no to go all the way to the top, right, baby? What, okay, what is game? Ex explain it and the concept to everybody. Global Arts Movement for Education, Janet. Um, it was a concept I... Um, the vision was probably a couple of years ago when I uh, found there was a need, I thought, to elevate the arts. And it started sort of to connect the Bay Area. The, uh, here in Tampa Bay, I thought, was very disconnected uh, in the arts. And, and that vision grew to more of a global sense, if you will, you know, in trying to um, um, give the artist a home and uh, 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 help them find their way because typically I found over the years they're not real good business people. <laughs> well, it's sure. not that. They're it's too the much in their art. to generate revenue off of their artwork is one of the most difficult things as an artist. And that's why the coin phrase starving artists exists or it wouldn't be there if it wasn't true. So that, that's, that's half of that mission. The other half is to give back to education, uh, raising money. Uh, for scholarships, and uh, each exhibit we have, the dollars go to a particular charity. Well, what's tonight's Fantastic. event for? So this event is... This exhibit's called Front and Center, the Center Club. And by the way, the Center Club is a great place oh, to I gotta, be. Oh, I got a compliment there. I everything. hope there's some food left at 7 o'clock. I hope people hear to, me. Oh, no. He, Malcolm's got something saved in the back for you, so there's a All little right, grub for yeah, you. Special, right. special K with strawberries, Janet. <laughs> yes. My favorite. Crazy. And, uh, no, it is good. The, uh, the art here... Uh, beside uh, half of the proceeds go to the artists themselves, of course, and the other half will go to the University of Tampa in this particular case, and uh, also to the Self Employment in the Arts Conference in oh, April good. at UT. Boom. Which I'm uh, speaking at that particular conference, but but I, I don't want to forget to mention, Rob, the exhibit at Tampa International Airport just closed, and we had a very successful run, and we raised several thousands of dollars for the mayor's uh, fund, uh, Pam uh, Mayor Pam Iorio. These are for dollars that will go into the Hillsborough County school system to bring supplies and that sort of thing to the school system. Oh, I think that's great. So we did real well with that. Now, Leonard Stone is now with you as the chairman. How did, Leonard, did you get involved in the Global Arts for a well, movement? Me, for before he answers that, I, I seen him on a corner with a will work for food sign <laughs> after the Florida auction. so I picked him up, man. I said, we got to go. <laughs> Florida Augers is now panning out for you, Leonard. I said, Leonard, come on, man. Make Global Arts happen. <laughs> Welcome no, to the show, Leonard. Well, thank you very much. Now, the Florida Orchestra was wonderful, and uh, I had a 40-year run at managing orchestras. You, re sorry, you reinvented the uh, Florida Orchestra year run almost. at orchestra? Yes, yes. yes. And uh, it, it was uh, time to bring that part of my career to an end. And, uh, you know, Malcolm saw me on the street with a sign. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 No it, lie! It, 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 <laughs> it started. My role with game, first of all, uh, I am so enamored with, with this whole idea because, you know, when you run an orchestra, you have 80 musicians who could be starving musicians, but they have an entire organization at work for them. They have Supporting a board, they have a staff. Uh, they have a num the power of numbers. The, the lonely little artist, you know, just painting with the brush, who's advocating? Well, game is now going to advocate. So the, the idea is to uh, take this internationally, and uh, I am going to uh, help Malcolm form an international board of people who care about not only artists, painters, dancers, uh, musicians, actors. Uh, it, it will become an international, and uh, the goal and the published material says to ultimately raise millions of dollars internationally that can be used for the educational purposes and it's art that connects the human spirit right. well Absolutely. tell us about inspirati and the, the meaning of inspirati well i think i uh, i'll tell you a little bit about it but i, I think uh, malcolm really needs to take the credit for it it's another imaginative and exciting uh name uh, we love it. It should be copyrighted. Yeah, we love it. Least, right? It's trademarked already. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, very good for you. I'm on you, Rob. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know, but I was calling my lawyer later. I mean, any, any artist uh, looking at, at this show who uh, wants to have the power of game and all of the resources that are ultimately going to be brought to bear to work for them, they must become a member of Inspirati. So uh, it's a $100 annual membership, and then magic happens for them. 
And uh, Malcolm, I had uh, the um, website that they could go to, uh, but somebody took my sheet, so right. I'm really now, new to this. So, so you don't have the uh, website I'm now. sure we'll say it a hundred times tonight, globalartsmovement.org. Globalartsmovement.org, globalartsmovement that's easy. Org. You know what I love most, what, what sticks out to me the most is, you know, everybody throws around that education word and they put a .org at the end of their URL and it's supposed to be this wonderful thing. Again, there is another reason that the education is not how to draw and how to paint. It's how to be a successful, financially stable, working artist in this community. That's the key to everything, is educating them how to sustain. And if they can't sustain, they can't create. Yeah. And then we don't have arts.